Each week, we introduce a facet of Taiwan via a number. Now, Andrew, I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. Can you guess the number? All right. Can you guess the number of endangered land mammals in Taiwan? <laughs> 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 You've studied this, haven't you? <laughs> you know, it's a number I have right off the top of my head. The number of endangered land mammals, mammals. in Taiwan. In Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs> Take a wild guess. Twenty. Okay. Well, um, we'll find out <laughs> how close or not you are. <laughs> um, after we take a look at this report about a Formosan black bear. On the morning of April 30th, a Black Hawk helicopter took off, headed to eastern Taiwan on an important mission. This was an unusual assignment. The helicopter was airlifting a young Formosan black bear. The bear cub was seriously ill when it was discovered last summer, apparently abandoned by its mother. At the time, it was only three or four months old and weighed just five kilograms. The Taiwan Black Bear Conservation Association took the cub in. After nine months of care, the bear now stands at 120 centimeters and weighs in at 43 kilograms. The cub completed a training program equipping it to survive in the wild, and the time came for the bear to return to its forested home. The airlift was a success. A team will now spend the next year monitoring the bear's movements through a satellite tracker attached temporarily to its neck. Meanwhile, a local team will patrol the area to ensure the cub and other black bears can grow up undisturbed. Oh, Nally, isn't that the most adorable thing you've seen all day? Isn't it great news? It's beautiful. Just looking at the, the bear kind of tentatively stepping out of he the looks cage. like he's looking around. going back home, right, yeah. into his own world. And so we're going to be talking about some of our endangered animals, which you know nothing about. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. <No. laughs> so um, I asked you how many land mammals are endangered. Let's take a look at the number. Uh <laughs> well, I feel much better about five than I do about 20. Okay, so I'm yeah. going to see um, if you can guess the names of these five. I'm going to introduce okay. them to you. All right. I mean, there's a lot of animals and species, but we're going to focus on land mammals this time. All right? Okay. So I'm going to yes. show you a picture and you try to guess what it is. All right? All right. And I'll tell you a little bit about it. So the first one, let's take a look. Oh, I know this one. <laughs> this is a Formosan so cute? black bear and it has the little V on, it's a, they wear V-necks, that's how you can tell them. That's right, and you know they are the largest land animal in Taiwan mm -hmm. and the only endemic bear. Okay. We see them all the time as mascots, right? Mm -hmm. O bear, Bravo the bear, but they're actually hard to spot in real life because they avoid humans. Yes, so I would too. <laughs> <laughs> we're pretty scary. So they're probably not likely to attack us unless we provoke them. Yeah, okay, okay, good. Good so to let's know. let's take a look at another one. All right. Ooh, Isn't that is, beautiful? That looks kind of like a leopard. Um, I'm going to guess that's the clouded leopard. That's right. Very good. Uh, the Formosan there, clouded leopard. Are there still clouded leopards? So that's a good question because in 2013, they were officially um, deemed extinct because they searched for them for 13 years and didn't find a trace. Wow. But last year, Two Paiwan villagers said they spotted one. Wow, 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 wow. So there is hope they're still alive. And what's interesting is that only Aborigines have spotted them, mm -hmm. except for there's one account in 1900 that a Japanese anthropologist spotted one. So, so indigenous people largely live in more rural or yeah, remote areas. Yeah, they get to see the beautiful the animals. Yeah. So we hope they're still alive. Okay. Let's take a look at another one. Well, that kind of looks like the same leopard, isn't it? Just a baby version? No. <laughs> is it a, is it a uh, one of those, um, oh, sometimes they cross highways, the, the cats. That's right. Civet cats? No. Put those two words together. Uh, highway cat? <laughs> leopard cat. Oh, leopard. That's right. You're right. You're very right about they cross highways, actually. That's one of the reasons that they're um, endangered, because yeah. they get killed a lot on the road. There's uh, estimated about 500 left. Mm. Um, they're about the size of a domestic cat and they sound like a domestic cat, but like bigger cats, they hunt. Mm -hmm. um, they're carnivorous and they don't play with their food. Like <laughs> they like, <laughs> grab their food until it's, it's, it's dead. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're a little bit more ferocious Meow. than domestic cats. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's take a look at this animal. Okay. Can oh. you guess what that is? That looks like a bat. You're right. 
Its name is the Formosa flying fox. I don't think you'd guess that. Right? No. no. So <laughs> Thank it's, you. <laughs> it's the largest species of bat. And what's interesting is that Taiwan actually has 40 species of bats. 40 That's species. That's right. One of the of densest bats. in the world. So we've been called the kingdom of the bats. Really? Yeah, we have a lot of bats. And actually, they're very good for the environment because they um, feed on flying insects like mm -hmm. mosquitoes and pests. So farmers love them. I would like to have one in my apartment. I wouldn't mind having one either. Getting that mosquito <laughs> that comes and bothers me in the middle of the night every night. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at one more. Okay. Oh, wow. Is that a seal? That's it an looks otter. Like an otter. That's wow. That's right. So Eurasian otters, actually, mm -hmm. um, they're only available, they only have communities in Jingmen. Now, this one was caught as a abandoned pup in mm. Jingmen and taken to the Taipei Zoo, where it adjusted well a few years ago. Mm -hmm. But um, they're nearly extinct throughout wow. Asian coasts, but there are some in Jingmen. You know, it's amazing. You know, we think of Taiwan as being such a small island, but it has such a richness of biodiversity. It's incredible. You would never think that there would be bears and, and otters and all kinds yeah, of amazing so animals. Yeah, so many animals. These are just the land mammals. We have mm. a lot of great, um, you know, kind of species that we are protecting, but yeah. those are some of them.